Good evening, you all. Prepare to be dazzled with this wonderful video. Shout out for a new channel and to try and help her out on a machine, sewing machine a little bit. So if you don't care for my sewing machine stuff, it's okay if you want to bug out right now. I totally understand. The new channel is Rise and Shine. If it wasn't for sewing machine, she wouldn't even talk to a dirt bag like me, but... Uh, it's amazing what collecting vintage sewing machines will put different people from different walks of life together. But she's got a great channel if you like sewing machines. But go check her out. Say hello even if you're here because you're a redneck and you like me being a little different. Or if you're here for bushcrafting stuff. Still go say hello. Check her out. That's nice being diverse. What this video is about, my wife's going to help me in a minute do some filming here, is Singer oh my God. Wheels. Did you just hear that? My wife just dropped in horror because she, I'm filming in my sewing room. Oh. Uh, what, what, what we're doing here is, this is a Singer 15. Rise and Shine has one. And if you go from your standard wheel here to a spoke wheel to either treadle or hand crank, you have to adjust your bobbin winder to work. It's simple to do, frustrating, but simple. That one's loose right now. I was just fiddling with it a little bit, but we'll get to that. Now, a brief little information on Singer wheels. This is a treadle wheel off a Singer sewing machine that dates 1900, at least. 1800s, early, early, I'm saying 1904, 1903. This wheel will work on these newer machines, but the bobbin winder will not. It doesn't have that little, that space right there. You have to have that for these rubber tired bobbin winders to work on. No problem, you can always throw your other wheel on, fill up 50, 60 bobbins, and go back to treadling because I love these big old wheels. Okay, this is the standard electric Singer wheel on older Singers. 1950s, 1940s, probably 1930s, 20s. This is what came. If you bought an electric one, this was the wheel. If you bought a treadle, this was the wheel. It was a spoke wheel, easy to get a hold of, start and stop, run your machine. They both have that lip on them. Okay, there's a bunch of singers that were treadles that were converted. This is not a singer wheel, but you see it a lot. If you have that one, you don't have a tension problem if you convert back to treadle or crank. Because they're the same, but that is not a Singer wheel, but you you'll see a lot. So somebody call, you know, wants to say, "Hey, I got this, and it does, and it's all right." Well, that's why. Well, let's get to what we want to do here. We want to hypothetically take this wheel off this machine, which, if you've converted one, you already know about the clutch and all that. We don't need to do that, and put this on. Easy enough. Now we want the bobbin to work because it's been on this big wheel, so it's out at its furthest point. All you do, it's hard to do. Susan, would you come help your dear husband? Please? Can you just kind of hold that camera where you're focusing into this area right here? All you do. If you loosen this screw, which I've already done, I'll just tighten it. Okay, you can see it won't go down far enough. It won't turn. You loosen this screw. Now you're going to get frustrated. It's going to take you a while. Slide it down. Pry that back. And I probably have it too far. Sometimes that'll slip back. Tighten the screw back up. And you go down with your bobbin. And which... Is not far enough yet. Sometimes it takes six hands to do this. I don't know why this one's bothering. Is it because that's not down there? Let's try that. Let's see if that does it. No, it popped back up. Well, it's this screw right here. 
Don't get to go. Oh, you're good. I like the boss. All right. Let's see if we can get this to stay there. Anyway, that is the screw that you do. There we go. Now, if I could just hold that and hold this. There. Now, when you lock it down, I've got it too far, but you get the picture. You can see that it's turning. It's a matter, okay, I've got to loosen it up. I've got to set it back a little bit to get it to, and I went too far. It's like an inch is too much. Now, let's try that. There we go. Okay, it's that screw right there. That's all you got to do, rise and shine. It's that one right there, and that'll work on either wheel. Then if you go back to this wheel, you just loosen it up, put that one back on. Okay. Just to show you a few of my machines that are out right now. That's my 1588. Thank you, dear, for your assistance. That's an oddity there. That's a Singer 206. It was one of the first zigzags. I haven't done much with it yet. I cleaned it up. There's a FAF 130. Beautiful little featherweight over there in a pile of fabric. An old 27 under there. My favorite machine at the moment is the Singer. 1591 that's over there that's a 201 another featherweight under there that's a 301 tan 301 that's a 66 treadle yeah I'm a little addicted to old sewing machines I right, someday I'll take you out in the barn with the camera and I'll take you down my wife's room show you hers no. thanks for watching go check her channel out if you're still here and interested in these wheels Go check her channel out and uh, have a good evening.